in science and ordering rational numbers. And in this particular example, we're going to order decimals from least to greatest. So we have the following numbers with decimals. We have 46.5, 44.54, 44.6, and 46.34. So the key to figuring out which is the least and which is the greatest is we want the decimal lined up uh, evenly for each of these. And here's what I mean by that. We've got 46.5, then we have 44.54, and then 44.6, and 46.34. Well, two of them, we want each of them to have a number in each of the Columns. So, for instance, this is missing a number in the hundredths. So I'm going to add a zero here and add a zero there. So now they are all lined up evenly and they each have the same number of digits. So next, what we do is we just start at the ones and then work uh, downward and find the smallest. So they all have four, so th this doesn't really tell us anything. Now we'll go to the tens and four is less than six. So now 44.54 or 44.60 is going to be the smallest number. So we move to the tenths, and 5 is less than 6. So now we have 44.54 and then 44.60. And so now we'll go back to the uh, uh, tens, and 6, we have two sixes. So again, we go to the tenths and 46.34 is smaller than 46.5 because 3 is smaller than 5. Okay, and so that's all we do. So now we know that we have them in the smallest order. I started at the tens, and then, excuse me, the ones, and then the tens, and then we went to the tenths, and we didn't have to go to the hundredths. So let's do the same thing on this next example. We have 0.2. Then we have 1.5, then we have 0.549, and 0.57. Okay, so we're missing a digit here, a number here, so I'm going to add a zero there. Let me center this up a little bit. Okay, and then we need a zero here and here, and we need a zero, zero, and zero. So now what we have is so we have them all lined up, the decimals at the same place, in each column has a number. Since we're starting at the least, we need to go with the smallest number in the uh, ones, and so it's going to be zero. So now we have two zeros, so now I'm going to move to the tenths, and two is the smallest, so it's going to be point 0.2, okay, and then next we have three fives, so I then go to the hundredths, and four, excuse me, Zero is smaller than four, so, but this has a one there, so I almost made a mistake there. So uh, this is going to be our greatest number. So it's going to be between the 0.54 and the 0.57. So 0.54 is smaller than 0.7. And then we have 0.57, okay? And then finally, we know that the 1.5 is the largest because it had the largest number in the ones, so it's going to be 1.5. So in summary, you just uh, line the numbers up, put the decimals, make sure each column has a number or a zero, and then start looking at each column if you're going from smallest to greatest for the smallest number and line them up that way. I hope this helps, and thanks for watching. Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please. Subscribe and share.